What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode. We are back at this lake guys. Brand new lake to me still. We came once, we caught a bass. But I'm determined to get more bass. Pretty sure there's bigger ones in here. And we got the yak loaded guys. So welcome back guys. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. My name is Zeke and I'm from this beautiful state of Seattle, Washington. And we fish anything from small to big. And we do some catch and cooks from time to time guys. But today we're bass fishing which I'm trying to, I'm not the expert, but I know what I'm doing and we're just trying to get better guys and trying to fish for more bass now that the weather here in Seattle, Washington is pretty good. Uh, a little overcast today guys, but we have a couple baits that I just got that we can try. Like the, this is my go-to guys, the Red Flake Watermelon Cinco. And we're gonna try out some blue ones today too. And some lizards, and if we have to, we'll switch up to top water, guys, for a little frog. But uh, yeah, we'll start with some sinkholes, guys, and we'll you know we'll work away around this beautiful lake. We got lots of batteries, and we got a couple couple hours to fish, guys. So thank you so much for tuning back in. And if, like I said, if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe and go check out the other videos. So let's get this video started, guys. All right, guys, we have the Texas rig going on right now. All right, guys. For you guys, for if any one of you guys is just starting to bass fish, guys, this is my to-go bait right here. A uh, a smoke red pepper, or also known as a watermelon red cinco. And um, yeah, guys, you get lots of bites. I mean, I've been lucky enough to get bites on this guy, so let's see. There we go, guys. There we go. I know there's something out here that's ready. You're hungry to eat something. Fish on boys on the drop. Oh, come on. Oh, dang. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. In the boat. In the boat. Don't jump. Don't jump. Oh, oh, no. He broke us off. He broke us off. What the heck? Fish on, boys. Fish on. Oh, I didn't know I had a fish. <laughs> guys, a fish. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, he's under the boat, guys. Oh, oh no. We... Fish on boys, oh, on the drop, on the drop, oh yeah. <laughs> Guys, oh, oh my God, come on here, come over here. Boys, oh my goodness. Whew. Guys, oh no, 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 yes, oh, no. Chill, 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 chill. yes. Oh. oh my goodness, guys. This is a freaking mama. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Right here guys. <laughs> guys, he has a hook. Oh, he has something in his mouth. Oh guys, he has a hook. It's not mine though. It's not mine. My hook is right here, guys. My hook is right here. Oh no, what does he have in here? Oh guys, this guy's got a hook in here. Jeez Louise. But guys, whew, what a beautiful, 
beautiful. Let's weigh this baby, guys. I don't know what to do here, guys. I don't know what to do here. Do not know what to do here, guys. And I can just help him clip it off, but let's scale this baby right here. First time using the scale. Let's power it on. See if it still has battery. Oh, it has no battery, guys. Nah. Beautiful, beautiful bass here, guys. I don't know what to do. All right, here, guys. He has something. Guess I'm gonna have to let him go like that, but I don't know what to do here, guys. Beautiful big bass. Let's see if I can just trim. All right, guys, all I just could have done. Big boy right here. Guys, I don't know what to do. So I just clipped some of the, of the leftover hook. But, guys, big boy right here. Big boy. Let's say bye to him. I already hold him enough underwater. But big ass boy right here. All right, buddy. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> All right, guys. We had a little scale situation there. And I feel bad for him, so I didn't want to keep him out of the water too long. But that big boy has been caught before. Guys, that was a big, big bass right there, guys. I couldn't get the scale to work. I was trying to get it in uh, pounds, but... Uh, I'll figure that out later, but you guys saw what he had in his in his throat. He has something in there, guys, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to do, so I just kind of clipped some of the excessive line he had out of his mouth and, you know, sent him on his way. But that was a big, big bass guy. Give it a big thumbs up on that bass, guys, because that was a big monster. But yeah, guys, I feel bad for him, so I don't know. He's doing good, though. He was, he's pretty strong, so let's keep going, guys. All right, my friends, that is it for today's video. We tried, we had bites, we lost fish, but we still managed to take one out and show you guys. So, big bass, lure stuck inside his mouth. I don't know what I, I could have done. What have you guys done in that, uh, in that case? I mean, at least it's still alive, still breathing, and hopefully one day the hook comes out or something, but... That was a big, big bass. And the one that ripped me off too, man. I don't know, that was pretty big. But uh, we lost about three fishes. We got one out, big one. Scale wasn't working right. Couldn't scale him. But I think it was about I mean, three or four pounds, guys. It's a big, big bass. And uh, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did. Got that big bass. But we'll be back again and try to get more bass. But uh, for now, that's it. Going home. Restocking on baits because um, we used all of our red ones, and this is what most of my bites were on. I tried the blue, I tried the lizard, and nothing, guys. But uh, yeah, get, you, get yourself some uh, watermelon red Cinco's, go out on your water, and you know, never know when Big Mama hits like the one that hit us today, guys. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe down below, like the video, and comment down below, guys. Till next time.